This right here is a seven inch monitor that I use daily. Just like any other monitor, it connects to your computer and can display anything you want it to. It's just smaller and takes up less space on your desk. This particular one is a touch screen and also has speakers built into it, but you don't need anything like that to take advantage of using a small monitor like this in your setup. This type of monitor was originally designed to work with Raspberry Pis and other single board computers. Some of them will have built-in 30 pin connectors to plug directly to the Pi, while others will use an HDMI for display and a USB plug to power the unit. This particular one has two different plugs. One if you want to use the monitor as is. The other one is for using the monitor as a touchscreen. Personally, I like the touchscreen option and I keep this monitor nearby for easy use. It's pretty cheap and only costs about $60 when I got it, but you can find them cheaper. This one here is seven inches in diameter, but you can also find them more narrow, wider, shorter, taller. Previously, I was using a five inch monitor that was not touchscreen. If you can, I do recommend getting a touchscreen version, regardless of the size, because it does add some extra functionality. Now, why would you want something like this? Well, there's actually a couple cool things you can do with this. If you have a non-touchscreen version, you can use it as a computer resources monitor. There's actually a good tutorial by Jay's Two Cents, where he takes a small monitor, roughly three inches or five inch monitor, up to you, and shows how to attach it to a PC case and create an always on system resources display. It can show things like your CPU temperatures, your Wi-Fi signal strength, or even just modify it to have a cool little mini graphics that helps with the theme of your PC. If you have a touchscreen version, right off the bat, you can use it as a media player. Just open your media player of choice, Groove, Spotify, iHeartRadio, whatever you want, and move it down to the smaller display. Now you can tap to pause, play the next song, change music easily. It's always right there convenient. With the right software, or even a little coding, you can play shortcuts on your monitor to make it something like a macro pad. Maybe you always check your calendar first thing in the morning, or want to listen to a specific podcast live every day at a specific time. Create some simple shortcuts, and with a few taps, they can launch for you. Want to improve your productivity or feel like you're getting more done throughout the day? Make a daily to-do list and place it on the smaller monitor or have your Google Calendar open either for today, for the week, and you can easily see upcoming appointments or tasks you need to have completed. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, which not many people have, you might have seen this one in the background. It's often sitting with a swirling orb animation. That's my AI I've built named Jarvis. And whenever it's on, it shows that orb as a graphic. I did get this particular monitor to use with my assistant, mainly for the touchscreen portion. I have it running as the main monitor on a dedicated mini PC. If I need a larger screen, I can hit a switch and use the monitor I use with my primary PC, which is my laptop. Now I would show more about this KVM setup. I did make a video about it previously, but no one liked it. So I won't mention it again, unless more people ask about it. I know this is far from the normal use case for most people, but this has worked very well for me. Now some other ways you could possibly use a mini monitor could be to have Discord open and monitor your Discord room. Have a YouTube video running some code examples on it while you're programming, or a video showing how to complete a DIY project. If you're familiar with Pomodoro timers, you could have a timer set on the mini monitor while working to increase your productivity. Let me know below if you use a mini monitor in your setup. I will have a link below for the ones I showed in the video, along with some other possible options I found that might be interesting. Maybe you're interested in picking one up of your own or taking a look. If you find something good, leave it in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.